Welcome back to The Legal Brief, the show where we crush the various legal myths and misinformation surrounding various areas of the gun world. I'm your host, Sam Kraut, and today we're heading back to New Jersey to get schooled on smart guns. SB Tactical, the originator of the pistol stabilizing brace, set the bar for innovation and product development in the PDW pistol category. From the insanely popular SBM4 to the adjustable SBA3 and even kits for pump action firearms, SB Tactical braces are available for a wide variety of firearm platforms in fixed, adjustable, and side folding models. To get 15% off your legally transported and carried pistol braces, use the code TGC15 over at sb-tactical.com. Last month, New Jersey's legislature updated its long dormant smart gun law. The old law, which was passed back in 2002, essentially said that once smart guns were for sale anywhere in the country, all handguns in New Jersey could only be smart guns within 30 months. That's right, the technology would have been mandated for all handguns sold in the state two and a half years after it became commercially available. Better stock up on those stupid handguns before you can't get your hands on those anymore. Now, the new bill, oddly enough introduced by Senator Loretta Weinberg, who was the architect of the original one, would alter the terms of the deal. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. Scraps the majority of the old law and establishes a commission to approve personalized handguns, also known as smart guns. I wonder if you can bedazzle the shit out of your smart gun. The commission is to be made up of seven members, including either the attorney general, the superintendent of the state police, the commissioner of health, or one of their designees, members of the public appointed by the governor, a member of the American Academy of Pediatrics, a licensed dealer or manufacturer, or representative of a New Jersey chapter of a gun rights group who is a resident of New Jersey, a representative of an organization that advocates against handgun violence, and a person with substantial experience in radio frequency identification or biometric reading technology. The commission's tasked with maintaining a roster of personalized handguns approved as meeting the performance standards and qualifying criteria established in the law. So what is that criteria? Great question. They include one, being reasonably resistant to being fired by anyone other than the gun's authorized user, which is defined to be the lawful owner or someone who was given permission to use the gun. Two, the technology shall be permanent and not removable from the firearm or a device or object needed to fire the gun. Three, not manufactured to allow the personalized characteristics to be easily disabled. And four, meet reliability standards generally used in the industry for commercially available handguns. Once the first firearm is placed on the roster within 60 days, every licensed dealer will need to make an approved smart gun available for purchase, post copies of the personalized handgun roster in their store, signage to indicate the differences between stupid, gu I mean smart guns and regular guns, and accept in process orders of customers who want them. Dealers can apply for an exemption from the state police, and if they don't carry handguns in inventory at all, they're automatically granted an exemption. Put succinctly, the new bill still sucks. It just sucks less. Oh no! We suck again! At the time of filming, Governor Murphy has not yet signed this into law. If he does, gun dealers will no longer be forced to stock only smart guns when the technology becomes commercially viable, but rather offer for sale at least one model. Nothing like government telling you what to keep in inventory, right? I wonder if Governor Murphy's security detail will adopt this technology. You know, since it's so wonderful. That's it for this episode. If you learned anything from the show, help us out, hit that like button, make sure you share it around with your friends. Don't forget to get subscribed. And if you enjoyed the video, consider supporting us via the links down in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching. Yep, it's over, but don't worry. You can click on the video up top to watch last week's show. And the one below that is the one that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Check them out and let me know what you think.